guys welcome back to my channel today's video is my week 61 update i think of my fitness journey as you guys know i've taken some time off and i just felt like it was the right thing to do because my arms were just so sore so i don't know if it was an official injury but i definitely was not feeling like myself i took the time off and i feel like that's the best thing you can do so if you guys are experiencing like some pain in your body or whatever take that break you know eat some junk food because you deserve it so this video is going to be all about why I started running and like a new thing that I'm trying out because I just want to and it's something that I've never done before if you guys are new to my channel I would love it if you subscribe I do fitness vlogs just like whatever I want so it'd mean the world to me if you subscribed also follow me on Instagram so starting off I'm gonna just say why I started running I have my little notes here. Um, so first off, as you guys know, I tried working with new equipment and I feel like that is what kind of hurt my arms because I normally don't do a lot of arm work. I mean, I do some arm work, but not a lot. I did have an arm injury. I believe my biceps were like inflamed. I don't think they were torn or anything that serious, but they were definitely injured from like overworking them. So I decided to stop working out for two weeks because my arms were killing me and I did not realize I took for granted stretching my arms out like completely for granted because when I couldn't and whenever I went to grab something it hurt so bad for part of my job what I do is shoot like runs walks for like nonprofits or just like in general just like runs like 5ks 10ks and every time I would go to one of the events like all of the people that took the running like seriously like you could see that they run consistently in their life and they've built it into their lifestyle they all had amazing bodies like there's not one that was like fat so I definitely got some inspiration from them and it was just nice to see that even though I was really tired when I had to get up so early also um, a nice lady that I work for um, that I do some freelance work for she runs and I mean she looks great as well so I'm like well I really need to get into running because I'm just seeing like these people and they do it so well and they just look great like their bodies look healthy and they seem you know happy and stuff so that's another thing that really inspired me to start running or learning to run i also thought that running would be a really good thing for me to do that's not like burpees push-ups um, jumping jacks, nothing like crazy with my arms. I mean, they swing and you still use them, but it's not like heavy lifting. So I thought that would be a good choice for me since I really don't want to put any strain on my arms right now, but I still wanted to be active. So a couple weeks ago, I don't know if you guys joined me on my live stream, but I did my first run and I learned a lot by just doing my first run. So I think I ran over three miles not ran but like walk ran over three miles and if you want to see like pictures and stuff go follow me on Instagram because I do a little like blog update on my Instagram as well and I used this like runner tracker thing and it was just like a app that showed you how long you've been running and how many calories you burned and like your route that you ran and honestly that day was like horrible because I started my run around like noon I think very bad decision also I had so much stuff to carry so I had my water bottle I had my phone I had my airpods in I had sunglasses on and I was wearing these tennis shoes that I've had for well since probably 2015 they're black so I was just a hot mess also I was wearing this cute new set from Luke and Gray which I really like it does fit well but it's a little bit too big so it would let's just say it wasn't very supportive on my boobs so just so many things were wrong with um, that run it was like my first run I learned why all of the runs I filmed for work were so early it's because you cannot run in the middle of the afternoon in Orlando Florida it is way too hot um, I feel like I 
got a mild sunburn, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, my sunglasses were like freaking falling off my face because I was sweating so much just from being out in the hot sun. Um, I couldn't run with my water bottle and phone, so I ended up putting my water bottle back at home. I didn't wanna hold it. So there was just many things that were learned at that time and there were just many things I learned from that run alone and I also knew that I needed to get new running shoes so I did some research on like running shoes and like the right ones to buy. What I came across were the Pegasus. The guy at the Nike store was like, oh, try these and they work out really good. Okay, so I don't really know what they're called, but they look like this and I will link them down below for you guys. They really support my feet and they make me not be as sore as I was after that Friday run. So also during that Friday run, I had no guidance. So I just like start running. And then when I got tired, I would just start walking. And I basically ran back and forth. I looked ridiculous probably, but I just ran back and forth because I couldn't exit my like neighborhood or whatever because I didn't have the gate key to like get out and in and I didn't want to hold that. So I ended up just like running back and forth and I'm like, I need to have some guidance on like training. So that's when I discovered the Couch to 5K app and you can just get it from the app store. You do have to pay for the premium if you keep continuing on with the program, but it is a training app to like say it's time to walk and then you walk for like a minute and 30 seconds and then it says, okay, now it's time to run. So then you start running until it tells you when to stop. And I really like that because as you guys know, I don't like to think when I'm like working out, like I just want to have that time to just like zone out, but just be in the moment, you know? So that app has been amazing. So before I even started running, I was nervous that like I wasn't going to feel it just because I'm so used to doing other types of workouts. But let me tell you, after that first run, on Friday where I was like a hot mess. The next day I was pretty sore. Like I realized that the entire body is being used when you're running and that is why all the runners that I know or like see always look so great because you get that workout in and it's using your entire body, which I know to some of you is like, oh yeah, that's obvious, but like, I didn't really like come to that realization. I know this video is everywhere, but I wrote all these notes out in no specific order. So that's why I'm just kind of like rambling them off. But also, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest nature person. So I don't like to be outside a lot, especially when it's this hot out in Florida. Well, it's actually pretty cold today, but um, it's typically really, really hot. So I don't really like to be out in nature, but since I get up so early to do my runs and stuff, it is nice to get a little bit of nature surrounding me sometimes during the week. So I do look at it as a kind of a positive thing that I'm getting out and running. Also, I've noticed too that it does improve your mood. Like, I don't know what it is. I think it's like the endorphins or whatever that become released in your body that you just like, I don't know, I've just felt like in a better mood. And I don't know if that's like waking up early, doing the run or whatever, but I've just been in a really good mood lately. So that's a positive benefit from what I've seen so far. And then this kind of goes along with the shoes, but I also found this running pouch and I don't have it with me right now, but I'll put a picture on the screen right now so you guys can see. And it looks like this and I will link it down below if you guys want to purchase one, but you definitely need something to hold your stuff when you're running because there just gets to be a lot of like stuff in your hands and it just gets to be a little bit too much. So I do recommend getting one of these. So what do I plan on doing in the future? I know some of you guys will say, are you gonna continue with like the workout videos? Are you gonna continue running? So for the time being, I'm just going to be running because of my arms. I mean, my mom read that like, you shouldn't be working your arms like that much for like one to two months months or something. So I'm going to be running until then. I do want to continue running until I get to that 5k point. So until I get comfortable enough doing that, I think that's a cool goal to set. Do I want to continue on with the workout videos? Yes. When I get to the 5k goal, then I will probably start incorporating runs and the workout videos. So maybe like I'll run one day and then the next day I will do an at home workout. Just depends on like what I feel like doing. I'm 
actually though getting a lot of pleasure out of running so right now I'm just gonna stick with the running but in the future I do plan on incorporating both and maybe like when I get I don't know more money or just whatever I would invest in a gym membership and then I could just do like all my workouts just in that one place which would be convenient so I could go on the treadmill or I could just use the equipment there or whatever but for now I think I have a good combination okay now moving on to my progress photos which there is actually like probably gonna be a decline but the weird thing is my weight hasn't changed on the left is the beginning of this year year two and and then on the right is now and then here is the side view of that the side view looks a lot better than my front view just my hips I don't know I don't know what's going on with that maybe it's just like the clothes the set I'm wearing I don't know that is what I look like and I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did let me know if you have tried out like running and stuff and let me know your thoughts on that and I'll see you guys in my next video bye